Hi everyone. You're welcome back to our tech class. My name is Abdullah Hakim. Today we'll be looking at name range in Excel. Let's look at this formula. Where we have some E2, the case of routine, and some base salary. We will see that when we define a range, it's easier to understand by everyone. So, in this video, we are going to learn how to name individual cells, range of cells, and the rest. And we will do a practical class on how to use name range in formula. In creating name range, there are three methods by which you can create name in Excel. The first one is by using name box. The name box is located directly in front of formula bar and above the label for column K. You will see the column K1 indicated in the name box. So, how do we use this? What you do is you select the particular cell and click the name box. Then you type the name. Let's look at this example. This is how to use name box. You select the range of the cell or a particular cell <clears throat> and you type the name that you want to give to the particular range. In this case, we name it department. So, each time you click on uh, the name box, you will see the list of all the name range. And when you click it, it will show you what it stands for. So let's use Cantif to work with the department. So equals to Cantif, then you select the department. Department, comma, then we want to count the number of accounting staff in account department now. So you select accounting. Then you close the bracket. You see that this one will return two. We have only two staff that work in account department. 